just love you so much. I love you more. Hope it's always like this. Hey Jacqueline. Oh, mountains are so beautiful. Yeah, when will you be back? Should be over by tomorrow afternoon. Hey, don't forget about Friday. Friday? Uh, yeah, my dad's birthday. Don't forget how much I love you. I love you too. Okay. All right. Bye. Hey Dad. Oh. Well, look at there. Look who's on time. <laughs> so what's going on? Oh, just business as usual. Sorry for interrupting. Remember you're meeting at 3 today, okay? You got it. Thanks, Leah. There you go, David. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. I think she still likes you. <laughs> I don't think so. So the big wedding day's coming up, huh? Let me know if you need help with anything, okay? Probably just gonna keep it small and simple. <laughs> Unlike your brother's wedding? <laughs> So when are you going to show Jacqueline the new house? I was thinking after the wedding. Make it a surprise. Mm. Nice surprise. Now speaking of surprises, I've uh, been praying for grandchildren to come soon. That's all in God's timing, Dad. Yeah, well your brother's been married five years, and still, no children. Okay, don't worry. I'll take care of that. That's my boy. Don't forget your dad's birthday on Friday. <laughs> Why is everybody reminding me about his birthday? 7 p.m. at the Oxford Hotel. Okay. You know you never change, right? That's probably a good thing. I don't like change too much. Just don't forget to buy your dad a present, okay? <laughs> Alright. Bye. Bye. She's gone. It's Jacqueline, are you okay? I just had a dream. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Alright. Alright. Lord God, draw us closer as brothers. Amen. Amen. Alright, let's go. I can't believe it. <laughs> Only 50. He looks so young. He looks that young because of God. I remember when my mom died. He had to pray so much to try to give her of his loneliness. He, but he's still waiting for one thing. 
What's that? Rapture? Grandchildren. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm dead serious. <laughs> Come on. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey. Yeah, I've just been, uh, I've been busy. She looks incredible. Who are you talking about? Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Just been, uh, going over work in my head. Oh, how's that going? Good, good. It's been, uh, it's been keeping me busy. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while at the church. Yeah. A lot of uh, early mornings at work, weekends. You know how it is. Well, I know Matt really wants to meet with you. He'd love to just spend some time with you. Sure. At the foot of the cross. What an amazing birthday party, everybody. I just want to thank God for all of you being here tonight. I feel so blessed and really, really loved. Thank you so much. David, get on over here and sing me a song, son. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> okay. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just happy. I hate to see you cry though. When I'm happy, I cry. Why are you so happy tonight? Because God gave me the best man in the whole world. So are you ready to be part of the family? <laughs> can't believe it's only a week till the wedding. Uh, it's crazy how madly in love you two are. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? They're commenting on my wedding. <laughs> if you need any help, I would love to help you. Please call me. Oh, I love that necklace. Thank you. David gave it to me for Christmas. Wow. That's so sweet. Peter asked Jesus, if a brother sins against us, how many times should we forgive him? Seven times? But Jesus said to him, not just seven times, but 70 times seven. Let's open to Matthew 18, verses 21 and 22. Seventy times seven. That seems a bit much. I know you can do it. Didn't see you at church. Yeah, it's busy. Why haven't I seen you there lately? Just not into church lately. Really? You talking about church or should we play some ball? Yeah, that's good. Is it 
Leslie? Fighting with Leslie? We're talking about Leslie or Jacqueline? Ja <laughs> what are you talking about? Nothing, man. I'm gonna marry Leslie. Just like that, out of nowhere? Well, I figure everybody else is getting married, why shouldn't I? Huh. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Are you happy? Oh yes, very happy. Well, that's all that matters then, isn't it? You know, the first time I saw David, I fell in love with him. Yeah, I know that, because that's when you fell out of love with me. <laughs> I didn't forget about you. We were only friends. Only friends, huh? You haven't been yourself lately. I, I just got a headache. It's on your mind. I'm just, uh, I'm a little stressed. It's because you're thinking too much. Cool. When you stop thinking, that's when your mind will have peace. Come on, man. Let's go. You gotta relax, right? Jesus said, take, eat, this is my body. And Jesus said, this is my blood. I love you. I love you. Where do you want to go? Anywhere as long as I'm with you. <laughs> All right, Miss Anderson. Give me a 
sign. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. It is not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely. It does not seek its own. It's not provoked. It thinks no evil. It does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. <laughs> The wedding was so beautiful. You think that was beautiful? Jacqueline looked amazing. I want a wedding like that. I want, I want, I want. I was wanting what something. is wrong with you? You're upset over nothing. No, just lately you've been so needy. You're like, I want this, I want this, I want... Hey, 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 stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get married. Since when did you want to marry me? Since the first time I saw you. I always wanted to marry you. I love you. You marry me? Oh. No. Will you marry me? I love you too. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> David, this house is so wonderful. I think it's too big for just the two of us. <laughs> it's not just for two. I know what you're gonna say. That we're gonna have seven children. <laughs> yeah. Nine people will live in this house. Nine? Yes. Me, you, and our seven kids. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Hey. So, uh, you're gonna live here? You live over here? Yeah. Looks like we'll be your new neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> My mom told me about you guys. And what is your name? Oh, I'm Peter and uh, my dog's name is Snoopy. Well, I'm David and this is Jacqueline. I think we're going to be great friends. Thank you. Before we go inside, we need to pray that God will bless this house. <laughs> Dear God, I pray that you bless this house and fill it with happiness and joy. And fill it with seven children. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah. Listen, there's only one thing beautiful in this house. What's that? I'm sorry, we just decided. So we eloped. <laughs> well, congratulations. So, how's your wife? When Jacqueline finds out, she's going to be pretty excited. I'm sure. Lately, I've been craving sour foods. Are you pregnant? I'm not sure. <laughs> Miss Anderson, I love you so much. Just wait, though. I'm not sure. May not be. Is it twins? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Just let me drink, okay? Okay. Oh, love you so much. I love you. Well, I've never seen David so happy before. Yeah, he's finally on time for work. 
<laughs> well, that's a big change. <laughs> <laughs> These two look like they're up to something. Hey, I heard you guys got married. Congrats. She's a great cook. <laughs> Not really. He's actually a better cook than I am. And we all know about Braden's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but she cooked her way into my heart. Hey, guys. Um, by next March, I'm going to be a dad. What? Oh, well, that's amazing news, son. Congrats, you two. Congrats, you. Above all else, I just want to thank God for a grandchild. Finally. I have been waiting five years. It's only in God's time. Jen. Wish your mother could have been here for this. Yeah. Uh, she always wanted to hold her grandchildren in her arms, you know? It's one of life's happiest moments, son. Enjoy it. You know, your mom and I bought some land for our first grandchild. He's gonna love it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Hold on one second. Hey, you need to come back. Leave me alone. You know, this is a very special day for my dad and my brother. A special day for him, but for me? What are you trying to say? It's all your fault. My fault? It's your fault. I'm still not pregnant. Come here, come here. Don't touch me. Thank you so much for making me a dad. Thank you for making me a mom. I'm so happy. Let's go celebrate. Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> that baby should be mine. Awesome. What are you talking about? You okay? How long were you just standing there? Not long, I just got home. You just spying on me now, hanging out in doorways, saying anything? Why would I be spying on you? I think it's time that uh, you make me a father. You think you're just gonna tell me? Well, I'm your husband. I think don't, it's my hurts. right now, right? Let me, don't. Women, yeah. property, remember that whole thing? It's my fault. Sleeping on the couch. Wake up. Mm. You know my dad doesn't like it when we're late. Come on, relax. We're not gonna be late. I'm ready. I just want to hold my wife. Are you always gonna love me like this? Forever and always. Even when I'm 90 and my hair is white and I have no teeth. Then I'll change your diaper. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus told a story about a man who had a hundred sheep. He lost one, so he left the 99 and went to look for that lost one. Who is that? He rejoiced when he found it because he loves everyone. Let's turn to Luke chapter 15. Hey. I want to go get the car, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, who is that guy? I've never seen him before. Oh, that's Paul. I met him three years ago. He stole my car and my purse. Are you serious? What is he doing here at church? Did he come to see you? Yes, and he knows my dad. He visits hmm. him at the jail. So you forgave him? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I was thinking about Paul and you and how he's trying to steal your car and your purse. <laughs> and you forgave him. I don't remember. 70 times 7. You're amazing. Actually, when that happened, I was really scared. 
I had just parked my car out in front of the supermarket and when I was about to get out, Paul pulled a gun on me. Having a girl. A girl? What are we gonna name her? Allison. <laughs> and what if it's a boy? Mm, David Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I like that name. What are you so happy about? Jacqueline, what's the name of the baby? Allison. <laughs> Cheap? Well, it's getting it cheap. Something wrong? No, man. I was just thinking. Still thinking. Come on. These seven trees, they're symbolic. For the seven kids God's gonna give us. So, I'm just gonna stay home and have babies, not go out anymore? Well, John Wesley's mom had 15 kids and she still got everything done. <laughs> How about you have a baby? You know, maybe, we can ask God. Thank you. I brought you a pie. Oh my goodness, thanks. <laughs> oh, I love your earrings. Are they new? They are. Henry gave them to me last night for my birthday. You have a good husband. I know. I just wish we could have a baby. You will someday. I've <laughs> been trying for five years. God's timing is perfect. Hey, what are you two girls talking about? Nothing, just girl talk. Talk about how beautiful her new earrings are. They do look nice on you. Thank you. <laughs> it was a wonderful party. You must be tired. Come on, I'll help you clean up. Hey, we can help too if you want. Oh, no, thanks though. Alright, see you then. Bye. See you. Have a good night. Hate my life. What did you just say? Why is it her? Why not me? Again? You really need to stop this. You're the older brother. We should be having the first grandchild. Hey, honey, it's okay. Alright, is everything gonna be okay? Am 
remember, always listen to your mother. And remember, I love you. After work, can you pick up some more pickles from the store? How about I pick up all the pickles? Actually, that would be great. <laughs> Today's our six month anniversary. Where are you taking me? How about anywhere you want to go? Don't be late. She's inside. Oh, okay. Snoopy really likes her. Yeah, everyone likes her. I like her because she's nice and beautiful. <laughs> okay, see you little buddy. Yeah, we were just having a man-to-man -man talk. Really? Well, it looks like I got some competition. I think he has a little crush on you. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Hey, let's grab some coffee. Oh, I can't today. I'm swamped at work. Do you have a meeting? Yeah, I'm gonna be pretty much busy all day. What time are you getting home? Probably like past five. Okay, so I'll see you then, okay? Bye. Hey, Dad's been waiting for you to sign those all day. Perfect. Okay, when I get done with these, I can go home. Hey, Jenny thinks it's my fault that she's still not pregnant. <laughs> Maybe go see a doctor and see what they have to say about it. Uh, we tried that. The baby's coming. It's all in God's timing. Yeah, I know, but I mean, she's been getting really jealous lately ever since she found out that Jacqueline got pregnant. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Um, Jenny said she was going to stop by after work to see Jacqueline. I thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> okay, well, like at work, I'm probably going to be really late, or at least a little bit. Do you think maybe she could stop by the store and get some pickles for her? <laughs> Why not? That would be really good. Could you call her? Yeah, you betcha. Thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna need the credit reports by five, is that cool? Yes, sir. All right. Hey, Dan. Well, I tried to call you earlier. Why's that? I feel really strange today. Well, you should be home by now. I know. I had a lot of work to catch up on. Alright, drive carefully. Okay. Bye, Dad.
Jacqueline! 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 Where are you? Happy six months!
Who would have thought this can happen? She was everything to me. Everything. Have the police found anything yet? Still under investigation. If they don't find anything, I will. And I will kill him. I'll help you. Boys, God's in charge. Only God can help us now, David. You know that. Where was God when my wife was shot? Listen, there's so many things in this life we'll never understand, okay? But never reject God's love. Never doubt Him. He loves everybody. I don't believe God. It's love. David, I know it's difficult for you to understand right now, but someday you will understand. No. I will never understand. David! Jesus, please help him, God. Be with him right now. Jesus, we need you. Please, God. Please. Be with him right now. Jesus, please help him, God. Exactly. When you died, I died. When our baby died, I died. Everything, everything was over. What a surprise. May we come in, sir? Do you have a moment? So, have you guys found the killer yet? We're doing the best that we can. Well, we just need your cooperation, sir. What do you want? And just a few questions. You're saying I need to find the killer myself. Like we said before, we're just trying to do our best. You know, Mr. Anderson, do you think it's a good idea for you to have a gun in the house in your state of mind? <laughs> You're wasting your time here. You should be out on the streets looking for the person who shot my wife. Mr. David Anderson, you have to understand you are a suspect in the homicide of your wife. Understand that. Get out of my house. Get out of my house! You know what? Why don't we just take it downtown and we'll talk about it there. Yeah, right! Like you guys have a warrant for my arrest. Okay then, why don't you just tell me where you were the night your wife was murdered? You guys are wasting your time here. You should really leave. Mr. Anderson, we just need your full cooperation. That's it. That's it. Have you ever held the body of someone that you love so dear? I didn't think so. 
That was my wife and baby. You can see yourself out. So I've uh, been praying for you a lot. Yeah, well, prayer's not working. Come on, you should come home with me and stay. No. I want to stay here a little longer. I feel like the killer could walk in at any moment. David, don't be so hard on yourself. I should have come home earlier. Like she wanted me to. Listen to me. Listen, you are not to blame. When I held her dead body, in that moment, my life was over. All my faith was gone. Faith, don't ever give up faith, ever. I used to believe in God. Now. Listen, Jesus is our strength and hope. You know that. Trust in Him. Never stop trusting in Him. this? You're not thinking about doing something stupid, are you? Dad, give me my gun. No, I'm not giving this to you. Dad, give me my gun. I need that. You don't need that. <sighs> what do you want me to do? Huh? Trust in Jesus. Put your eyes on Jesus, not men, son. about Jacqueline? What about my baby? They're in heaven, praying for you. I don't believe in heaven anymore. Jesus says, revenge is mine, I will repay. Romans 12, 21, don't forget that verse. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. After the baby's born, I want to go on a mission trip. I'll go with you. How about we take the baby with us? Sounds like a good idea. Isn't it kind of, uh, late? Don't worry, I'll speed. Hey, don't speed. It's okay. Oh, is there a gun? Can I touch it? Hey, 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 stop! That's not for you to touch with, okay? That's not for little kids. It's not a toy, okay? If it's not a toy, then why do you have it? You asked too many questions.
Hello? Hey, I'm waiting for you. Where are you? Yeah. They're crazy. They think I killed my own wife. Settle down. It's a matter of time before they catch him. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to find whoever did this and I'm going to kill them. This is insane. I have a friend here waiting for me. Okay, uh, he's been waiting for you for a while. Right back this way. I didn't think you were coming. I gotta find the murderer. It's all I can think about. Sometimes I feel like he's right next to me and I can't touch him. What makes you think that the killer's a guy? Every time I close my eyes, I see Jacqueline. Where was Jenny that day? Everybody knows that Jenny was jealous of Jacqueline. And Jenny was the last person that Jacqueline saw that day. The killer? I know that she's your brother's wife, but we have to look at the facts. And everybody knows a jealous woman is capable of anything. Is everything all right in here? How could you? How could you? It's not, it's not Jenny. For me. Where is she? Whoa, whoa, what is wrong with you, man? We all know that Jenny's the only person that saw Jacqueline that day, right? She says, I need to talk to her. Jenny! Jenny! She's still not even over Jacqueline's death. Oh, David, it's so good to see you. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I've been praying for you. I still can't believe this happened. Yeah, me neither. So, what do you need? I shouldn't have come. I, I gotta go. Hey, son. What's going on? Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. You want to talk, or...? No. no. I, I shouldn't have... What?
How you doing? Hey, where's your dog? Uh, he's not feeling too good, so he's inside. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. I take it you've been busy? You're trying to find the murderer, aren't you? Who told you that? I heard my parents talking. Really? I want to help you. I really miss Jacqueline. I want to help you find the killer. Who are you? Hello. You aware of the speed limit on this roadway? Um, yeah. Okay, it's 45, you're doing 62. I need to see your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance. Why do you look so nervous? Nothing. I'm fine. Okay, I need the registration, proof of insurance. You got something else on your mind? No, no sir. Driver's license valid? Yes, sir. Sure about that? Yes, sir. Okay. Stay in your car, I'll be with you in a moment, okay? You sure you're alright? Yeah. Okay.
David, what's wrong with you? How could you? Huh? How could you kill my wife? Huh? You are out of your mind. Henry, move. If you're gonna kill her, you've gotta kill me first. How could she do it, huh? Tell me! Why would I kill Jacqueline? I have evidence! I didn't do it! Turn around and face the door, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for murder. Do you have any weapons on you? Out the front door. Jenny. Hi. Yes, I need to speak to an attorney immediately, please. On a more serious note, Jenny Anderson, 26, has been accused of a double murder of her sister-in-law, Jacqueline Anderson, 25, and her unborn baby. Jacqueline was five Jenny. months pregnant at the time of the murder. If found guilty, she could face up to two life sentences or okay. the death penalty for the double homicide. Back to you, Rick. Jenny Anderson was arrested at her home in Highlands Ranch after David Anderson, husband of the deceased. Are you seeing this? Apparently, I mean, you just can't trust anybody anymore. I don't believe it. So far. How do you not believe it? There's like tons of evidence against her. She was set up. Okay, if you ever say that she was set up again, I will kill you. God. <laughs> I'm leaving. No, 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 don't leave me. Come on, I need you. You may need me. Do you love me? Babe. Of course I love you. Come on, Dad. Of all people, you know she's innocent. Yeah, I, I think so too. No, we need a different lawyer. Well, look, the one we have now, I mean, he's the best. No, Dad. There's just something about him that just doesn't seem right. All right, look, I do have someone else we can try. Oh, that would be great. Thanks, Dad. That would be great. I just can't believe it was Jenny. <laughs> A jealous woman could do anything. believe all of this? You know Jenny didn't do it. She's innocent! We have proof. Well, she was set up! Why don't you go and pray about it? What happened to your fear of God, man? Do you know how much I want to believe that it wasn't Jenny? But you know, ever since she found out that Jacqueline was pregnant, she was filled with jealousy. You told me yourself. You know what, David? 
You will regret this. The killer was our was in our own family. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Come in. Here are these papers. Thank you. David, I need to tell you something. I just need to let you know what's in my heart right now. <laughs> what is it? I think you know what I'm gonna say. <sighs> just tell me. Jenny did not kill your wife. Not Jenny, then who? I'm not sure, but I know we'll catch him soon. <sighs> Do you know how bad? I wish it wasn't Jenny. Look, I've been praying, and I just think that... Well, that praying? Don't come in here talking about prayer. Don't even mention prayer in my presence again. Just leave. David, you need to check your best friend. Jacqueline back to me. That's the miracle I want to see. <laughs> Look, I know you don't want to hear this. We believe Jenny's innocent. I agree. The real murder is still up there. It just seems so unfair. 
Jenny needs a lot of prayer. David. David. David, look at me. They'll prove she's innocent to me. Look, we have an excellent attorney, okay? But above all else, son, I believe God's gonna turn this around for good. She was only 25. You guys brought me in here for this? Really? David! I tell you, Leia talked to me. She thinks that Jenny's innocent too. Well, that makes sense. They were good friends. My whole family thinks she's innocent. What about all the evidence against her? Yeah, I guess you can't deny truth. I heard that she uh, posted bond. She's out, but not for long. I can't believe they let somebody out. Yeah, her trial will be coming up soon. It's unbelievable people think she's innocent. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Thanks right? for being a good friend, man. Of course. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey, are you okay? You guys ready? Sure. Jesus, may this competition glorify your name. Make us your Gideon army. Help us to fight for your justice. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, in Joshua 1.9, it says, Have I not commanded you to be of good courage? Master, this isn't a church. Hey. Dude, what's wrong? Dude, it's constant Jesus talk around here. I don't see any God. Do you? You used to go to church, I remember that. No, I, I went to church because Jacqueline asked me to go to church, but I never believed in God. <sighs> no, son, I know what you're going through. Yeah. Down. No one. No one knows what I'm going through. I do. Don't forget. I lost my wife too. This is really hard. I know. I know it is. Hey, man. Hey. You really gonna sell this house? <sighs> yeah, I just... I think I'm gonna move back to the ranch. I noticed these are growing up kinda quick. Seems like just yesterday. I planted them in Jacqueline. She told me that you planted one for each of the uh, seven kids you were gonna have. Yeah, it just kind of hurts to look at them now. Oh, hang on a sec. Hey, it's really good to see you. Hey, man. Hey. So, um, when are you going to teach me how to, you know, play the guitar? <laughs> You're really serious about that, aren't you? Yeah, my dad got me one last Christmas. <laughs> okay, but you come back now and I teach you, alright? Okay.
Yeah. I uh, gotta go. Unless he's having that morning sickness thing. <laughs> you know, what if... What if I buy your house? What about the house you're in now? Well, Leslie's saying that she wants a bigger house before the baby comes. I can look after your trees for you. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Um, you know, I, I gotta go take my dog to go potty. Yeah. What a kid. Yeah. Since your friend left, can you teach me how to play now? <sighs> Doesn't that hurt? <laughs> yeah, but you'll get used to it. I miss her. I saw her that afternoon. You were at my house? Oh, no, when I got off the bus. I saw her talking to some woman. Do you know who she was? Do you know her name? Um, yeah, she called her Jenny. Uh-huh. Do you know what they were doing? Well, she got in her car and then Jacqueline waved and said, thanks for the pickles. Wait. Did you see anyone else come to my house? When I left the house, I saw a man enter. Do you know who that was? Do you, do you know their name? Uh, your friend. He was here not that long ago. <sighs> Something wrong? Here. Play around with that, okay? To my love, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, you are my only love. When I am around you, I am so happy. You are my life and everything, my hope. When I hold you, I feel like everything belongs to me. I was so happy. And then one day, David came into your life. He stole my joy, life, everything from me. Leslie! Is 
so sorry. I need to tell you something. What happened? I found the real killer. Really? Well, who is it? It's my best friend. Uh, it, what, what did you say? I can't hear you. Your phone is cut. Hello? to talk to you. You shouldn't be in here. Well, the front door was open. Jacqueline, I want to tell you that I love you. And, uh, and I really miss you. What? Jacqueline, I think we should get back together. You're my friend, Brayden. No, Jacqueline, I know that you still love me. Are you crazy? No, I, I know that you want me. I've never loved I you. I can feel it. You know that I've only loved David. Hey, Pastor. Yeah, I need to talk to you about David. He needs prayer. Hey, Dad. I'm really worried about David. That's just something not right. Ever since Jacqueline died. Yeah, but I couldn't hear what he was saying. It was really staticky. He said something about uh, he might have found the real killer. I, I don't know. I couldn't understand what he was saying. Mm, really? So what happened to her was her own <laughs> fault. And instead, she decided to go and be with that guy who pretends to be my best friend. No, you don't. You're the devil. Women talk too much. How could you be so heartless and kill your own baby? Are you that heartless? You know, I don't even think it is my own baby. I told you, I only ever loved Jacqueline. <laughs> My best friend! My best friend! My best friend! woman and you took her from me <laughs> go ahead kill me I want to go to heaven because at least then I'll be with her you will never see her you hear me she is in heaven you you're going to hell I've already been to heaven every single time I was with her I was in heaven <sighs> shut up shut up come on come on You were never my friend. 
You're not gonna believe this. Brayden. It was Brayden. He's the killer. What? Yeah. Apparently, before David met Jacqueline, he was completely in love with her. How can he kill someone he loves? I have no idea, but you know what? I need to call the cops. Stand up! Stand up! Just go ahead and kill me. Seventy times seven. That seems a bit much. I know you can do it. You killed my wife, and my baby. And yeah, I still forgive you. You're not a man. Hey! Oh! Come on! Wake up. Leslie, wake up. Leslie. Leslie, wake up. Braden Winders, 27, has been charged with the murder of Jacqueline Anderson. It has also been reported that he hired hitman Sean Gray in an attempt to kill David Anderson on the country road the day before his wedding. Love covers a multitude of sins. I finally get what God said. To overcome evil with good. When I forgave Brayden, I finally had peace. I realized that when you died, you never left. And you're always with me.